Alright guys, welcome back to more PS6 Master League, guys. So, today we are going to go into the negotiations, guys. And, um, so yeah, I've been having a look and nobody really suggested anything last time. And, um, the problem is, guys, right, let's go back. As you can see, the team salary is 10,000 and our funds are only 17, um, thousand as well guys so we're cutting it a little bit close here now um so we need to kind of start thinking about you know maybe not buying players but maybe just offering them contracts so in this episode guys we are going to go to the non-affiliated and offer so offer some contracts to some players now i've been having a look through this and gilberto silva i mean great player guys he's 31 he's going to be 32 next season 953 don't think that's particularly a great idea myself guys you know what i'm saying like we've got to sort of work around things here i reckon um now definitely one that i'm gonna go for is sanya here because um he's 24 you know it, it looks decent guys he looks very decent and um yeah why the hell not he can play he can play wing back he can play um sb so side back and he could play side midfield he can't play center back though so we still will need a, a, a center central defender i'm gonna go for it though um ooh, let's do that so uh, we'll offer him try and offer him as much as we can um let's up this a little bit let's go with that that'll do for the for, to just to start off with we'll just uh, offer him a little bit more so uh the next one that i'm gonna have a look at guys is if i can find out uh d d d d d d, -D muller we need a defensive midfielder, guys, I reckon, and I reckon Muller could be for the job. Um, so let's try and negotiate a contract. Um, 400, guys, I mean, that's a steal if we can get him. Let's offer him about... Yeah, you know what, we'll offer him that. We'll offer him a five... Yeah, try and get him as long as we can. You never know, guys, you never go... I mean, at the end of the day, you're likely to get some of these because, well, they want, uh, they want contracts, don't they? Uh, anyway, this, this Emmerdick here... Joking aside, guys, very good player. He's 24. He's a centre back. Um, he's just primarily a centre back. So 309 there, guys. Why the hell not? Let's go for him. Um, again, he might be willing to come to us. Let's off. Let's just offer him say. Yeah, we'll offer him 401. Whatever. Let's do that. Let's apply that one. So there, we've got three players there. Something that I found. Um, I think he's on newcomers. Is this guy right here? Look at this. Let 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 me turn off the comparison. Um, look at that. Look at them stats. Not bad stats for a striker, guys. And guess how old he is? He's a South African striker. This um, Kamalo, and he's 17, guys. That is pretty good for a for a centre back. Uh, sorry, centre forward. Um, might 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 not be a bad idea. That guys might not be. Um, but I don't know how you guys sort of feel about that. Um, 17, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm going to add him to my list, I'm going to keep watch of him, I'm going to gonna do a bit of scouting guys, you know what I'm saying. So anyway guys, it's time to sort of look for a goalkeeper, now, now the best goalkeeper I can pretty much find on the non-affiliated is Fullop right here, uh, he is 24 years old, considering him, considering, I was actually considering Turnbull here because he's only 22 and you have time to improve guys and I wasn't too sure, I'm thinking about the budget at the moment and like, you know, 362 for Turnbull wouldn't be bad and uh, 710 for Fulop is a little bit more but I guess he's a deep and decent keeper um, I've decided, I've ultimately decided um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into newcomers guys and what you've got to do is you've got to have a look at some of these keepers because some of them are pretty good guys um, this guy right here, his response is 85, body balance 83, defense 92. All right, not the quickest in the world, of course, you know, maybe to compared to some other keepers. However, he's 17. He's 17. He's got stats like that already, which is really nice, guys. Um, you know, there's not really, a, a, you know, many other I mean, if we compare, you know what I mean? In fact, no, let's clear that. Let's compare him against the rest of the keepers here um okay so maybe like this guy right here has got a little bit you know he's got the body balance and everything but the, f the defense isn't as good you know what i mean um the agility is there though mm. so you know you know what i mean it's like a bit of a toss-up it's like who do you want do you or do we just go for full up full up being the more experienced keeper here um 
You know what I mean? So, but what you've got to remember is these keepers will get better in that. And like Kushak's uh, goalkeeper rating is actually decent, guys. He's actually really, really good. In fact, he's better than considered better than. Um, uh, then full up, so yeah. Uh, we got Wood here, who's not too bad, you know. Uh, it's just like, who do I go for, guys? Do I just go for, a, you know, somebody who's quite proven? We do kind of need a backup keeper, I think. Like a third keeper would be nice just to have. Um, and this is why I'm considering full up, though. I mean, his agility is, isn't quite there, though, you know what I mean? Uh, let's clear that. Let's compare full up. So some of these new keepers. So if we compare him to this guy right here, um, he's got the more agility there, which does help out, and he's got the extra little bit of defence. Um, all his other stats are sort of down. Um, if we have a look at compare him against this guy, uh, this guy's got the more body balance. He hasn't got the defence, but he's got the more agility there than Fulop has. You know what I mean? And agility could you know it's good for goalkeepers to have that so it's kind of like a toss-up between which one do you go for kind of and um, how tall are they a full up's a lot a uh, lot higher than he is so you know i mean full has got his advantages but then there's other keepers that have their advantages and it's like uh what what the, what do we sort of go for here but i might i might just go with a uh, full up here just you know, I'll just offer him the basic amount there. So to sum up so far, we're going for a centre back. We're going for a defensive midfielder. We're going for um, somebody who can play side back or wing back in Sangnya, uh, and we've got a goalkeeper and whatnot, guys. So then it's like, well, who else are we going to bring in now? Don't forget, we've got we've still got plenty of weeks to go yet. But there is Engzogbia here, guys, who is an attacking midfielder. Now I know we've already bought an attacking midfielder. Um, but uh, he is not bad, guys. Let's get rid of the comparison thing again there. Um, centre mid, side mid, attacking mid. You know, we kind of need that defensive midfielder, though. That's the problem. So I'm almost thinking of putting in a very cheeky bid for Stankovic. I know I kind of said that he's a little bit out of our price range, but I'm almost considering it, guys. I'm almost considering it. But it's like I look at him and I look at, like, Stankovic is 29, whereas Zogby is only 21. You know what I mean? And his stats are really good. So he's kind of the cheaper option. And we can get a lot more years out of Enzogbia. You know what I'm saying? So I might leave Stankovic for now. But if this Enzogbia bid doesn't come back, you know, we'll maybe consider it or something, guys. Let's put in... I don't know, let's put 450 in, I suppose. Let's try and get as much out of him. So those are my five bids this time around, guys. Let's go straight to the game today. Alright guys then, so we're at the game today, In looking forward to this one, uh, since we kind of picked it, you know, considering that um, Everton have been relegated and whatnot, so um, yeah, that was the reason re really for uh, picking them in the first place, because I knew that um, they weren't going to be... Um playing them next season so uh, yeah and um, Mutu is going to make his debut guys if you forgot about Mutu he's here he's arrived he is at the club now he is going to be starting up front along with Obina uh, because Obina was on red form plus whoa I thought that was going in there and that would have been amazing if it did um, man it wasn't far off um, yes yeah, so why not, guys? Let's uh, let's get on with it and that. So uh, Saviola and Chu Young need a rest, pretty much. Um, well, I mean, the stamina is a little low, but, you know, I decide to give... You know, I, I, in pre-season, I like to give everybody sort of a, a run out if I can. Um, so, you know, here's Walcott. And here's, here's Ben. Here's Benny Boy. Oh, it's a good effort, that Benny Boy with his massive bald head. He's, uh, he's starting today. He's going to be in the attacking midfield uh, section of the field. So uh, here he is taking the uh, the free kick as well. Decides to put him on the free kicks. Um, sorry, not the free kicks. The uh, the corner kicks. I've got Mutu on the free kicks. And oh, that had to be made. Simic there with an absolute tack, guys. An absolute tack. So yeah, let's uh, let's go, boy. I'm I'm ready for this. I'm I'm just bring on the season now. I'm ready for it, man. Actually, no, I'm not ready for it saying that. And headers. Oh, never mind. You know what I mean? There's still work to be done, like I say. You know, like um, like I say, we, we've only got four centre-backs, man. That is it. Literally four centre-backs. That is it. Um, I think Yaric, Str is it Stremer, um, Skertle and Simic. And that is literally it. I mean, um, Mafio can play at the back if we really want him to. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, about taking that risk, isn't it? Obina, Ben. Oh, debut goal! 
No, wait, it's not. It's, uh, it's Matthew again. What a hit, son. Uh, I thought it was Benny Boy. I thought it was. I'm pretty sure I saw his name pop up there and I thought it was him. But, um, yeah, he's taking the number seven shirt, guys. So we, we'll go through, like I said in the last episode, we'll go through um, all that, uh, you know, once pre-season is over with. A little uh, good ball there by um, Walcott. Just comes out to him, hits it first time. Bit of a kale on it. Hit the roof of the net, didn't it? So, nice one. Um, yeah, you know, I was thinking about like changing the formation and whatnot on this game, but I'm just not like sure about it. You know what I mean? I don't think like changing it is really a good idea. Um, like, I was going to maybe play like a basic 4-4-2, but this formation works really well. And to be honest, guys, you know, if it works well, never change it because you know, learn your lesson and that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've learnt my lesson these days, um, and that's. So I was almost thinking like you know, if there's any players on Everton's team that we could pick off. You know what I mean? Like you know, now that they've been relegated, um, but there's nothing really there. You know what I mean? I'd rather just stick with the non-affiliated now that we've splashed a bit of cash out on two players. Um, you know what I mean? I feel like that's probably best to do. And oh, never mind there. Some good good bit of play there. We're playing decently. Last preseason we beat uh, Middlesbrough, didn't we? Uh, and that. So that wasn't. That didn't even come off our player. Yeah, I told you it didn't. And oh, what was that? Let's have a look at this again. I think it was Mafio's head. It was. Oh, it was an inch from going in. So it was actually Maxwell's head, not Mafio's. It looked. I, they looked the same. Oh, is that who I think it is? It's a Maxwell, guys. It is Maxi. I think that's his first goal for the club as well. It's about time, man. It's about time, Maxi. You've done. You've come up trumps there, mate. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm pretty certain that's his first goal because I'm pretty sure he never scored last season at all. And there we go. Well, there you go. You know, it's a miracle, guys. It's a miracle. No, he's still waiting for Mutu's first one now, so, you know, let's hope he can get one. He can play wing forward if if you want him to, Mutu. He can also play SS. Um, so, you know what I mean? He's he's quite a good player to have in your team, guys. You know what I mean? He really is. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, like, yeah, I like I'm saying, I, like, I think that we're okay for, for attackers. I mean, maybe we could do with one more, but it depends whether or not we could, like, maybe get anybody in on a free because like you know we need we need to start selling some players and we're not selling players and what is all this it's Mutu ah! Mutu could have had his first goal what was the Everton defence doing there unlucky man very unlucky there he should have taken it around the keeper in the end he had enough time and space to sort of do so but he didn't never mind never mind about that Here's Maxi. Maxi's just going to run past them all like they aren't even there. He's going to win the corner. And it's Benny Boy. Like, what is with that head, man? Like, seriously. It just it kind of annoys me that he doesn't have any hair. <laughs> Not saying that bald people annoy me, guys. It just it just looks way too clean, his head. You know what I mean? It, need, it needs something on there. It feels like it's missing. It feels like they made a mistake and took his hair out for, for some unknown reason. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, ah, oh, what is all this? Come on, we're playing brilliantly today. You know what I mean? We looked a bit dodgy in the last couple of games, but we're looking so much better today, and it's Obina there with an effort. So, uh, yeah, I hope what we might do is, because, like, depending on, like, because these young players, the problem young players, a lot of young players have is that they don't have great stamina, uh, and because of that... Um, because of that, they you know what I mean they, like, they need replacing and taking out all the time and and stuff like that. So like you know I, I don't know whether or not to get rid of Yulu or not. Depends if we bring in anybody else or something. You know what I mean if we get like Stankovic or someone, you know what I mean with all these great stats. Depends how much money's left over. You know what I mean I'm gonna see how it goes within Zogbia first and see because you don't we, we don't want to like buy all these players if we if we do end up buying them all uh, and then sort of like you know. Running out of cash or anything like that. Oh, and it's Mutu! Ah, oh, was way off. He took, he he got into the box there and just sort of took it too far. 
It feels like a goal is coming soon, guys. It does. And I'm excited for it. Can it be a debut goal? And Obina! Oh, and... Oh, never mind there. It's back out. Excellent. It's been all us. If we play like this in the Premier League next season, we're going to be good, man. We're going we're gonna, to... We're, yeah, we're going to win for Europe. And I reckon we'll get it doing that. So, second half is off. So, uh, yeah, you know, this season, if we can't win the title for whatever reason, you know, like, I reckon we've got to at least get in the top six. We've got to get into Europe at least. Get, get At least get into Champions League qualifying, uh, if anything. And that's going to be our, 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 at least our objective this uh, coming season. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, I suppose. But here's Obina. But Wolf's going to get to it first. Wolf. Yep, Wolf. Um, so yeah, you know, I mean, I like, I'm happy. With, I'm happy with the team, like I say. But there is certain areas that still need covering. We could do with like a wing back, uh, which hopefully we've m maybe acquired Sanya to to cover that. Um, I definitely feel like we need a wing back and an extra centre back is definitely on the cards for us. Um, and then obviously just like getting an extra goalkeeper in and a defensive midfielder. If, if we got that now, I'd be happy with that because then we've covered like five areas of the field. And this is pretty much what I talked about in the last uh, episode, guys. So, you know, here's Wal Walsey. Uh, never mind Walsey. And... Uh, and whatnot. So um, yeah, and, and if there is any money left over, maybe we can just pick up like one or two players or something like that. We really need to sell. This is the problem. Nobody's buying any of our players at the moment currently, and uh, our problem is that we do need to sell one or two uh, faces. I mean, if it comes down to it, we might just have to let uh, some players go, unfortunately, um, instead of being able to sell them. But you know, but well, we'll see. You know, I mean, something's got to happen soon. We haven't been able to. Um, I think it's to do with the contract renewals and stuff like that that we haven't been able to you know like uh, put any of our players like up for trying we can't do anything with our team because it's greyed out is what I'm trying to say so maybe hopefully soon we can get that sorted out and whatnot. well here they come this isn't good oh Walcott's gonna have to run back and defend so fast Walcott and that's gonna be a goal for Everton unlucky there it's Vaughan with a goal. Come on, I'm not giving up yet, though. Definitely not giving up yet. We're still there. Uh, we're still decent. We're still decent. <laughs> Kushak couldn't get down to it in time. Unlucky stuff there. Let's have a look. Who was covering this? I think Skater was meant to be covering it. But it ended up having to be um, Simic there, having to cover it in the end, and he just couldn't do it. So, never mind, never mind. Chin up. We haven't made any subs yet. We'll have to maybe make a few in a moment's time. Here's a Bina. And that's pretty okay. I hate that. When you, when you pass it in the box, and it always ends up doing the thing that you just hope it, it won't do. You know what I mean, it's kind of irritating. And it's Mutu with a blaster master over the bar. Is he going to get that debut goal? Skertle, Simic, back out. Do you know what I mean, it's uh, one thing that I did say uh, in the last part was that uh, about winning games. And I've said it loads of times before, but like I say, winning games is really going to help us. And here's Mutu on a run. It's Mutu. Mutu! Oh, he's missed it. How have you missed that? It's unreal. Oh, it was so close. It was so, so close. Come on, he's running out of time to get it here. And the pass through for Mutu. Here he is again. It's Mui. Ah, oh, it's Mui. I just can't believe it. Anyway, I'm going to use up some of my subs here in a minute. 
Um, as you know, right, well, well, we're going to have to, aren't we? We're going to have to. I'm going to put uh, Chu Young on the wing, actually, to see how he gets on. I don't know. Might be good. Um, I think I think I'm bringing Simic off for Yarich as well, and I think that's all I've done. No, wait, I've got another one. Who was it? Who was it? Now bringing Mark Gonzalez on for I think Maxwell. Yeah. Um, See, so yeah, well, I actually remembered all my subs for once, guys. It's a miracle. It's all kinds of miracles, isn't it? Today. It'd be a miracle if we signed some of them players we've gone after. You know what? I'm probably not going to be surprised if we don't sign any of them. But, you know, <laughs> you've got to try, haven't you? And Walcott. Uh, see, now we just can't get the ball back at all. And this is terrible because we need to try and win this game if we can. Get them points racking, raking in. Racking, raking, whatever you want to call it, man. And there's Obina. And he can't really do much. Here's Mutu, who's not going to get there to it. He did all he could, really. And let's uh, back out yet again. Come on, Mutu's literally got, like, seconds now to get a goal, if possible, for a debut goal, man. Isn't it? It's very ironic, actually, because I've just realised on Pez 5, he played against Everton in his first game. Uh, for us and he actually scored on his debut and uh, today it doesn't look like he's going to get it now oh. Kushak's going to pick it up that's going to be the full time whistle now for sure it's very strange how he's played Everton twice though on PES 5 and PES 6 in his first game though Un unlucky that he couldn't get his, uh, his debut goal today though definitely very unlucky I mean, it was our midfield that did it for us. I mean, not even Obina scored either. But then again, when does Obina score? You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, guys, uh, that uh, is that Mafia with the man of the match hit today. You you gotta you gotta use him right, man. You gotta use him in that centre midfield. I reckon he's he's so good in that area. Like he really is. Uh, Steen Maxwell was good. Walcott was good. This guy was great. Had a really great debut. Obina was good. Mutu got a six point five. I reckon he would have stole man of the match if he had scored though. Um, uh, even though he didn't score, it was a good debut. Anyway, guys, uh, here we are then. So we've got a couple of uh, defenders there. We've got Sanya and we've got Amadik now. <laughs> so let the memes begin with that name, guys. Uh, as you can see, though, uh, we still um, don't have any uh, offers from any for any of our players. Um, but yeah, uh, so Engzogbe are full up and Muller all broke down there, unfortunately. But we've managed to sign on... Uh, Zamenhofer and, and Yulu there, so we might be able to sell some players now. And uh, as you can see, yes, we are able to so uh, uh, sell some players now, so that might be good, guys. So um, I think what we might do is we might put a few of these players up for transfer, you know, just see what comes in, you know, it, it doesn't really particularly matter. The thing is, though, I kind of want to put Yarich up for sale there. Um, I suppose we could just to see. You know what I mean? Because like we just don't know at this point. There is Ono. I don't know. I might just hold on to Ono. I don't know. I keep. I'm debating whether or not what I want to do with him. Um. So yeah, uh, Zamenhof. What what's going on with Zamenhof? I've just no idea what's going on with him. Like I just can't sell him or anything. Um. Yeah. So that's it. I think that's maybe about it for who I want to be selling. Um. I tell you what. Um, I will put on a up for sale just to see what comes back. It, there is no guarantee that I'm going to be selling him or anything like that. I probably end up keeping him in the end, more than likely. You know, I mean, you can play DMF, is what I'm saying. But yeah, so uh, Amadix in here. Look at them stats. Very good players, only 24. And who was the other one? Sanya, who has just joined. His squad number is one. So let's go ahead and change them. So Sanya to start off with. What numbers he going to be? Uh, it's either 20 or 21. Uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with 20 then. Let's do that. Amadik, he is number 15 at the moment. Um, I'm gonna go with four though. There was something quite interesting uh, that I want to show you guys as well. So I was actually having a look like you know like different teams and like who signed two guys. And you can if you can actually you can look through like you know the United and stuff. I was loving having a look at like where some players have gone. Your Johan Pili has actually gone to United there, guys, which I'm kind of gutted about because I kind of wanted him. Um, 
I have no idea who this guy is, this Se here, or Ke, or whatever you want to call him. He's 29, the attacking midfielder. I think he's... Is that Slovakian, I want to say there? No, is that... Oh, it's one of this, like Slovenian, Slovakian. I think it's one of those. They've got Ribery, man. They've got Ribery, so I can't sign Ribery. They're never going to sell him to me. Um, if you have a look at Arsenal as well, I believe. Uh, who have they signed? They've got Asaiti, As Asati, Asal I think that's how you say it. They've got Marvu as well here, who's actually a really good player. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, something, guys. And I think Chelsea, if I'm not mistaken, guys, where are they? I believe they have got Shimizu. Where is he? Like I don't, I don't like. Look, what, what's all this about? They've signed Milan Barros. They've signed Milan Barros. Chelsea, Chelsea have signed Milan Barros, and they've uh, uh, Nemeth here as well, who is Slovakian. Yeah, that's definitely Slovakia. Equenta as well, like the Pepe. He's, oh, they're buying all, look at all these, the, I mean, how many centre forwards do Chelsea need? Look at this crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look, they've got Pizzini as well. Look, they've got Shimizu as well. Like, what is going on, Chelsea, man? How many attacking players do you need? Holy crap. And Liverpool have signed Vaughan. Yeah, also, they've signed, um, where is he? Rui Costa as well. So there's been some activity in the transfer market recently. Anyway, guys, just before we go, we're going to um, have a look at the Open to Negotiate again because, obviously, it does change quite a lot. It doesn't look like it it's changed uh, too much here. Um, but like you know there is certain stuff the, the problem is we have to apply for transfers and we just don't have the funds at the moment guys but I'm just gonna have a quick look anywhere just to see what there is um, so we've we've pretty much got our defense sorted out for now which is all right Karini I really want to get rid of Zamenhof man I've really got to get rid of him Abiate I, I, don't, I think I'm pretty much gonna give up on him Metzelda he'd be so good to have um, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I'm going to go through the, um, I'm going to go through, uh, the free transfers in a moment. Couldn't think there. Schweinsteiger. Oh, I remember I signed him once. Swapped him for Cole Torre, guys. Can you believe that? Nuri Sahin. Mm, not bad. Only Anton Ferdinand, Johan Pelle. Well, he's at United. So, you know. That's future potential. Let's just check uh, non-affiliated one last time. It's gone down to um, to three pages now. So, you know, go better Silverstone there, Cahill. Uh, I don't think it's changed by the looks of it. Stankovic has been bumped up to the first to the first um, page. It might it looks like a lot of these have been picked up in the last game week by the looks of it. Um, so, yeah, you know, if there's anybody here, guys, you know, point them out and let me know about them. Um, but like I say, we still need a defensive midfielder. We still need a goalkeeper. And and then that's pretty much it, really, after that. So, you know, we've got like, we've got four. No, sorry, we've got like three out of the, f out of the five positions that we need. So... You know, let me know, guys. And let me know what you think about some of the newcomers as well. But anyway, guys, I am going to leave it there for today because uh, I have, like, no idea. I think I have no idea how long I've been recording for, but I've been recording for way too long, in my opinion. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Please do comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always. Let me know of the transfers and whatnot and what you think. And I will see you guys next time when we play Where to Bremen. Take care.